guys, today I'm here for Top 5 Tuesday and today's theme is going to be my Top 5 Dystopian Books and I'm excited. This is the last one of the genre themed videos, which is crazy because that means I've done 5 videos. That's 5 weeks of videos that has just gone really, really quickly. That's how it always feels with Top 5 Tuesday though. They just go so quickly and I'm just like, oh my god. But everyone should know what dystopian is. It's pretty much the opposite of utopian, which is the perfect world of dystopians or a world that's just corrupt and there's a problem with them and people don't realise until they've lived with it so long and they just figure out that they hate it. So let's get into it. So number five on my list is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard and I just love the idea of this book and how it's about like different bloods like red and silver and about different magic and the system of the world and this is how the silver bloods are the best and the people with red blood are stupid and corrupt and all that kind of stuff. So I really enjoyed the world of this and even though the series has declined for me, the first book it was one of my favourites in 2015 when I read it and now I don't know, I haven't even read King's Cage yet but it will happen, hopefully I'll read King's Cage and then I can be there for Warstorm early enough but I did enjoy the concept of this book and it was done really well. Number four on my list is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon and this is a very confusing dystopian but it is dystopian. Like, so in this book you've got clairvoyances and there's seven different types of them and there's a hundred different types within the seven different types so it's all very confusing. There's a lot of different things that people can do and you've got this world where like the clairvoyances get taken and sent to this other place where there's even more magical people and then they um then they have to work for these people so it's a very bad system. Like the world that the clairvoyance lives in can be a dystopian but it's more the sissy siskonos whatever it's called place that they go to that is more the dystopian element it's a very bad place to live a very bad world and it just needs to be changed and it needs to be rebelled against and the government needs to be corrupted you know so it was definitely a very good dystopian that i really enjoyed number three on my list is the selection by kira cass and this is just such a fluffy dystopian novel and i love it so much this is a dystopia in the sense that there's different cast. If you're in like one of the lowest cast, you're not entitled to much, but if you're in one of the higher ones, you get entitled to more. But it's very interesting in the sense that too that they have this like bachelorette kind of thing to choose for the prince to choose, but it's a very dystopia because the people in the lower cast don't get anything and they live in poverty. And people in those casts want to rise up and be get better and not have to deal with this crap. It's a good dystopian, but it's not a serious one, which I thought was really good and refreshing with the whole dystopian genre, so it's definitely one to read. Number two on my list is the Shadow Me trilogy by Tahira Mafe, and I say trilogy, but we're getting the series next year on my birthday, and I'm so excited. But this is an interesting dystopian as well because you've got again, you've got the human and the war lords and all that taking over the world, and then you've got the people with powers and all that trying to do good things, and it's just a lot of war and rebellion and everything. But it's a really interesting world, and it's such a good book of developing people and characters, and I love it so much. And I definitely recommend this as a really good dystopian. Like I'm pretty sure it's. A dystopian like some of these I'm sometimes like are they even dystopian but it has to be it has to be and for number one how can I not say the ultimate dystopian which is Divergent by Veronica Roth like I feel like some people might have expected me to say um the Hunger Games but I have not read that so the second best here is Divergent but definitely a really interesting dystopian one of them it definitely has to be like the first dystopian I read and I really enjoyed this series and the idea of it and how you have the different factions and then like you have to do what you want in those factions but it's like you're not allowed like you're not allowed to be more than one thing and then people who start to develop that need then go after the government like every dystopian is just like Phil kill the government because they're a piece of shit but it's just the ultimate dystopian novel honestly. So these are the top five books that are my favourite dystopians and I don't actually really reach for dystopian that much like I don't mind reading one every now and then but it's just I liked it at a stage but now it's just like I go for other things like I really don't even know if I have any dystopians on my TBR. Probably. Croup. Probably Red Rising would be, is Red Rising a dystopian? That's probably the only one on my TBR that's like dystopian. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later. Bye!